information, if you can't provide it, where can someone get information relative to what stocks to buy? Because that might not be like a business like a, a mom and pop shop or something like that, or selling stuff on Etsy, but it is uh, a side thing. Absolutely. So um, I actually mentioned the industries under which that you would want to invest in stocks wise at the bottom of a recession in a depression, right? So that those industries, just to remind you, are um, actually let me get that up here. That's like a consumer staple. So those are things that people buy uh, generally. Actually, let me just pull up the list over here. One second here. Um, so just as a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Contact any financial advisor you want. I, I'm just providing this information. These are things that I'm doing. It's worked for me. It may or may not work for you, but I'm letting you know because I, I believe it'd be helpful for you to have this information, at least point you in the right direction. So uh, consumer staples, these are, these are uh, companies that, um, that are basically staples inside people's lives. So stuff like uh, Procter & Gamble, who creates all kinds of uh, cleaning products and household products. Um, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, these are things that people buy even under the worst of circumstances. Um, budget places like Walmart, um, discount places like Costco. These are all industries that at the bottom of a recession or a depression, will, uh, their, their stocks will be really cheap and you can actually uh, buy them for a huge discount in a depression, sometimes up to 80% down. And then on the upside, you can, um, uh, you can make a lot of money. Here's the thing though. Um, so. You can never really call the bottom of a, of a recession. Like a recession, we only call it a recession sometimes months, sometimes a year as we look back and we realize that it was a recession. Um, but I believe we're in one right now. Uh, but these are, these are, it's a lag in order to figure out. But to tell if you're at the bottom, like you really have to wait until you see some growth. Like you can't really catch the bottom. You sort of have to wait until, if we're talking about stocks, you have to wait till those stocks now start rising again consistently for months at a time and then you might get in because if you get in too early you might be writing it more down um and you also have uh, anyways so th there's that but there uh, consumer staples you can actually check online there is um uh, there's an etf which is an exchange exchange traded fund which is like a group of companies that are traded as one stock and you can see a list of all the companies that are in there so xlp is great for uh, consumer staples xlp uh, the two other types of uh uh, companies you might want to uh, invest in at the uh, at the uh, as we're you know, it's going down to the bottom of the recession is uh, utilities so uh, XLU XLU that's uh, energy companies that um, that supply you with energy so you're not it's not going to be the uh, the energy companies that actually you know oil companies and stuff like that you want the companies who actually send that energy towards your house and then finally um, uh, dividend yield company, so uh, SPHD, SPHD. Uh, these are companies that uh, provide a dividend. So a dividend is when you own a stock, uh, the company wants to encourage you to own a stock, and so they'll, they might give you a payout. For every stock that you have, they'll give you like 30 cents, let's say, every three months or every year. So this adds up. I talked about in a previous video how when you have savings, um, you, gain, you gain interest, and this um, compounds over time. Well, dividends do as well. So something that, uh, that uh, I'll be setting up is div stocks that, I, that give me a dividend, and I'll have the dividend automatically reinvested in order to buy more of those stocks. So you sort of set it, you forget it, and then five years from now, you have way more stocks, way more dividends, and uh, uh, way more money. Um, but the three things that, um, the three other, uh, the three other sectors that do well when you're coming out of a recession, so that is uh, technology stocks, XLK, Technology stocks like Microsoft, Apple, Visa, Mastercard, Adobe, Cisco, stuff like that. Uh, consumer discretionary, right? Well, as people start getting more money uh, to spend and people feel more confident in the economy, they might buy stuff like um, uh, like uh, Amazon, Home Depot, uh, McDonald's, Nike, Starbucks, stuff like that. And then finally, industrials. Right? Industrials are companies that actually make things, and so. Once you're in an up uptrend, if you invest in companies like that, like uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, GE, Boeing, FedEx, Airlines, and stuff like that, um, they can really um, expand inside of uh, the next expansion. Wait to invest in any of these, these things because you don't really want to invest on the way down. And on the way down, any of these companies that are not 
they don't provide good value as good values they think they're not as transparent as they should be and they don't have good reputations they'll get sh shaked out right there it'll get shook up either the people in it will be uh will be shuffled around or the company might go bankrupt so that's why i'm not eager for people to to jump into buying stocks right now the best way of making money on uh, in a recession where you make the most amount of money in any part of the business cycle is the way down but this is hard to do and dangerous to do if you want information on this I would say uh, there's two sources of information I find extremely useful that I use every day, and that's uh, realvision.com, realvision.com, where they provide you information about um, how to view the, the economy in general, how to view business in general, um, uh, politically, uh, on a macro level worldwide. And um, it's run by uh, Raul Paul, which is a who's a fantastic investor and very, uh, very heartwarming. He, he, just absolutely fantastic. Follow him on Twitter and check out uh, the realvision.com buy a subscription. Totally worth it. And um, a little bit more technical would be a source called Hedgeye. So um, Hedgeye is run by Keith McCullough, also a fantastic investor. A very different way of going about it than, um, than uh, Raul Paul at Real Vision, but it really complements everything very nicely. Provides you a nice process for how to choose a stocks, uh, no, no matter what part of the, the, the cycle that you're in. None of these guys will teach you how to actually do the investments, how to actually place positions. That you're going to have to do on your own. Plenty of YouTube videos, information out on, on there in order to do it. But if you're interested in making money on the side, it's hard for me to say that stock trading is not a, not a good idea. Just don't put any money in there that you can you can lose. If you're less than $2,000, don't even bother. But anything more than that, uh, you know, you put your position in gold, you have your savings to spend on your, on your bills um, when you need to, and then a little bit that you can try to, uh, to trade on, you'll find that, uh, hey, you can be one of those people who, who actually make uh, 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 some decent amount of scratch on the side. When it comes to the companies or the sources that you just talked about, are you affiliated with them at all? None. I have no affiliation with these companies. Um, the only things that I subscribe to these services, uh, Real Vision and Hedge Eye, like I, like I talked about. Um, but I, I don't get any kickback. I don't get any 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 benefit at all. I just use these uh, these companies. The companies in my talks, I use them as examples. I don't get any money from them. No one pays me to mention them at all. Um, I'm here to give you the information as straight as possible. I'm letting you know what I'm doing. And look, if ever I'm making any mistakes and I find that what I'm saying is not correct, I'll be the first person to put a, another video online to like you know set the record straight. Go look, I learned a new thing. What I said before wasn't uh, wasn't accurate. But I sort of do my homework. Like before I bring it to you, I've really thought things through and seen how it works. And that's why I'm imparting the information.